Hello and welcome to channel 48. Today I'm here with the MacBook Pro 2.2 and this is a nice device guys really I got it from Martijn I found it on marketplace.nl the place that vind je het wel and he has only 20 bucks for it so I was like hey is that not that old MacBook that I also had because in fact yeah he didn't really put the number of model number in the advertisement so I could only see the picture and I was like hey that looks like my old MacBook 3.1 and as you know my old MacBook 3.1 I used it for for several years and I went on a holiday and then you know the soldering loosen up wherever you connect the keyboard you know on the motherboard and then to me the thing came useless became useless because I could still use it it's still working until the day of today but you will have to use it with some external mouse and keyboard so I'm just gonna give it away to, to, to some enthusiast uh, student that that you know that wants the device one day I have a bunch of them there so I called him up and we made a deal and he even had another one and that was the 3.1 and he gave me a real good price for both of these MacBooks. You know, I'm going to be very honest to you. I paid yeah, without, they had no, the battery was not working anymore and no power supply. So no, no adapters and things like that. No, 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 uh, nada. Only the devices and I paid 20 euros for this one and for the other one. No, I paid 20 euros for the other one, the 3.1. And for this one, I paid, I give them 8 euros 50. That's what I still had in my pocket. Because he was like, don't you want the other one? I say, yeah, but how much? He said, uh, 20. He said, 15. I said, 10. He said, okay, 10. So then, <laughs> then I, I went to my pocket and I had only 8 left. So I give them the 20 and I had 8.55 left. He said, yes, it's okay. So... In fact, I bought this 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 MacBook Pro for eight euros and fifty five cents, and that in two thousand nineteen. And we're gonna make this thing two thousand nineteen proof. The only way how to do that is not to you know keep using Mac operating system on it. Of course, um, we can still use Mac uh, the Mac operating system on this device because Mac already had fantastic applications way back in ten. Dot seven, even 10.6, 10 uh, 10.5. 10 you know, people were creating fantastic videos at that time, you know, when Windows users were still with, with Movie Maker, you know, I mean, like Apple, these guys, they had professional packages way back in, 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 in the beginning of the 90s. These guys, they had fantastic recorders. If you still have that software, you know, you can still have a professional uh, device doing certain tasks for you uh, audio recording for instance because these things are very good with audio recording and there are many good applications going along with these devices so when you see an old Mac the question is not what can you still do with it uh, but the question is more how to keep it you know how to how to use the device in a modern way with latest software with updates that you can still use the thing as a daily driver is that possible with with the old macbook from 2006 and i'm gonna say to you today yes that is very possible but you are not an impatient person you love what you're doing and you also love the power of linux so when I got this device and I came home, I was very enthusiastic because I still had my old drive, a SS, uh, not a SSD drive, a, a SATA drive lying around from the MacBook that I bought that was kind of slow with that drive. So I kicked it out and pushed in my SSD drive. I still had that drive and it was, I think I had 10.7 10 on the thing. So. I pushed it in, I opened this MacBook. I made a video about it, but it became long and boring. And I was like, if I don't want to look at it, I'm sure you guys don't want to as well look at it. So I, I, I put in the drive, you know, 
and I booted up and the Mac operating system 10.7 booted up on this device. So I was kind of kind of happy to see that, you know, 10.7 on this machine and on the 3.1, I got the thing with El Cap there. I was like, oh, that is way too much. But the thing runs pretty, pretty decent as well. But in another video about the 3.1 today, we're talking about the 2.2 because the 2.2 um, is, is, is in fact not reacting the same as my iMacs and uh, my, my MacBook Whites if it comes up to installing Linux from off USB. I tried, I tried all sorts of ways guys really and of course ladies to get Linux on this machine. And every time it ran into refit stock and you know, then suddenly I understood all these comments that I got, you know, from, from, from users that told me that they could not boot their Mac with refit. The thing is not working for them. And I did not understand. I was like, these guys are doing it wrong, you know, but then I started doubting myself at a certain moment. I was like, Hey, but Hey, these people are right, this thing is, is not booting from out refit. So what happened? Um, I installed the drive, Mac booted up fine, you know, I was like, okay, nice, 10.7. In fact, I want to keep the 10.7 because I have a whole lot of, you know, old information still on the drive and I don't want to just delete it. I want to make a backup from it. So, you know, I, I will have to copy that all. And then, in fact, yeah. So. I decided to keep the Mac operating system on the device because it was not booting from USB and I could also not refit in the E5 bootloader could not, you know, uh, but then I start thinking that maybe it has to do because I found something out there. Eh? Remember these Windows 8.1 8 tablets that are being sold? They are being sold with 64 bit operating system. But the, 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 the bias environment there, the, the e uh, UEFI bias, is 32-bit. Because if there is no bootia 32e in the boot folder from the bootable uh, uh, device that you're trying to uh, boot from, then the thing won't boot. So that's why these 64 bits that were uh, UEFI supported would never boot on, on, on these devices. But Partition Magic booted fine. So one day I was like, why is Partition Magic booting and, and why is Ubuntu not booting? So I, I opened these, these, these bootable USB sticks that I created at that time with, with, with UNet booting. So you can then easily open them and, and see what's cracker lacking. And then I saw that in, in, in Partition Magic and even in Gparted in the bootable USBs that you can create, I found a bootia 32.e5 together going along with bootia 64.e5. So I grabbed the 32.ify file and I put it in the one from Ubuntu and boom, Ubuntu booted up on these devices. So I suspect that these devices, you know, are also needing that bootia 32.ify. So I did not try that one yet. So maybe we can still boot from USB, but I did not try that yet. What we're going to do, guys, because that was the only way how I, you know, found out how to install Linux still on this machine and I even created a beautiful classic Catalina Catalina classic GNU Linux distribution for special for this 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 these books so owners of you know old MacBooks MacBook Pros old ones that cannot run uh, the latest of the latest anymore you know you guys can download this distro and you're gonna love it Really, you're gonna love it. I called it Catalina Classic GNU Linux, special for outdated MacBooks, MacBooks and iMacs and name it. So knowing that, I decided that we're gonna do it the old fashioned way because from out Mac, I also installed Refit and Refit is booting up fine 
whenever you turn on the machine it will first come in refit and then you can you know choose what operating system you want to start now I can choose out of Mac and of course Linux but the refit boot E5 bootloader boot selector will also let you boot from a bootable USB stick even from a CD so I created many bootable USB sticks they didn't want to boot none of them you know so I decided to grab one of my old CDs went in my collection went searching was in the middle of the night you know and then I found I found uh, a Linux Mint 18 with Pi support 32 bit I decided to go for 32 bit because a 32 bit system will run better on uh, on a device with only two gigabytes of, of of memory right this thing only has one processor that's two cores but it's one processor it's the t7400 processor we have in this thing so all in all it's not it's totally not a bad machine you know i mean like look at this look at this device this is a this is this is this is even more beautiful than these Macs that they create these days. These thin, ugly little things. You know, a little wind blows them away. Look at this. This is a device. This is, you know, at least you know that you paid for something. You know, it's thick, it's nice, it's lovely. You know, a keyboard will light up in the dark. It's just one beautiful device. It's a collector's item and you should not let it die away uh, because, yeah then in fact you are an idiot if you do that you know and also you must know that the processors that were made in this time don't have that leak there's a leak in all intel processors all computers from 2008 and older are totally you know very easy to access by by hackers because of a mistake by by intel of course you have you have updates but every update you know you know these hackers these, these guys they are gods so <laughs> updates won't help if they want to come in your machine they will just come into your machine that's just how it is nothing you're gonna do about it no updates gonna help and and, and no 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 block is gonna help because these guys they are just gods okay don't play with them so in this video, I'm gonna show you how we still gonna install Linux on this machine and we're gonna do it the good old fashioned way. This is as well an old device. You know, in, in the time of 2006, let me think, 2006, yes, devices were already booting from USB, uh, but not every device. Some devices would come with, no, 2006, 2007, all these devices could boot from USB, I think. I'm not even sure, but we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. I'm gonna grab that Linux Mint 18 Pi. I'm gonna push it in, you know, and I'm gonna press the C key until I hear that the thing is gonna boot, okay? If we put this, the, the CD in or the DVD, we turn on the machine, we put in the, the, the DVD and we keep pressing the C key it will then boot try to boot from that DVD and if all goes good the 32 bit should be able to boot on this machine okay what you're looking at is uh, my refit bootloader I told you that from out Mac I installed refit and the one in the middle there that is Linux so we're gonna boot that one up and I created a special Linux distribution for this machine and it has Android built in. In fact, I created two distributions, one with Android 8 built in for the stronger Macs and one with uh, Android 7.12 Linux OS pushed in. This was all with thanks to Mr. C.W. Huang. There at the bottom you can see that I as well have Android in the list and Mac is as well in the middle. So we're gonna boot up Linux Mint and I modified it to look like Catalina Classic GNU Linux. And there it is, it's booting up. As you can see, a nice little lovely classic apple. And instead of the dots, you have a little uh, progress line that will yeah, show 
and look really lovely on the screen so yeah the boot up looks looks really nice and it happening on an apple machine yeah that is even even nicer don't you think so yeah we're letting the system boot and then we will have to log in the login screen that you will see is standard by uh, Linux Mint so all credits for that login window goes to Linux Mint I love the I love the look and feels it gives the, a bit the classic uh, yeah the classic looks of 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 yeah of of these old Macs remember so yeah it's booting in now and the desktop will load and the desktop will not be so classical it will show a beautiful mac like look like uh yeah icon pack and even at, at the top there you can see a nice little test bar i made a special wallpaper for this uh, for this os with uh, a blue catalina plane that is entering catalina island uh, somewhere in the morning you can see the sun is giving a special effect to the island and uh, the blue of the plane as well corresponds with uh, the icon of the my computer we have a full bar built in that's a 432 hertz uh, player that will play all your music in 432 hertz so yeah that is really really cool now you know to get started only thing that you will have to do uh, if you want to install Linux Mint or Linux uh, on your machine is simply boot up with uh, Linux Mint 18 it's LTS long term supported up to 2021 so yeah you, you will have uh, a good working and not too heavy uh, Linux system uh, I also of course want Windows applications to run and that DJs can get around you know so uh, virtual DJ 7 home home version is as well pushed into the system and uh, it's freeware from uh, from virtual dj so all credits for this software goes to virtual dj and thank you so much for ever creating this old version that is not even downloadable from your website anymore and thanks to some uh, sites on the internet we can still get to the file so yeah i pushed it in so we can remember it for the rest of the life of this distribution so now I'm going to show you even more because this is your music player and it will look amazing on a widescreen uh, yeah, TV or yeah, monitor and in fact it's, it's a player, it's your uh, hi-fi stereo player. Uh, I think it's, the one of the, yeah, it's one of the most beautiful, world's beautiful uh, music players because we have all these guys creating skins and all credits for this software goes to russia so all my russian friends there thumbs up to you uh, all my friends from uh, 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 russia keep making these beautiful skins they have all sorts of skins uh, i only inserted one uh, for the system i might insert uh, some more in v2 uh, you can as well download them yourself because yeah this player will work uh, as well under linux and that is really cool i think the old schoolers will love it as well linux users will love it and probably they never looked into it but uh, the amp uh, player it works fine under wine so wine credits to you here we have cody uh, i must update the python uh, yeah it worked fine uh, yesterday i could you know load some application some 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 videos um so yeah the python must be fixed in fact i wanted to install uh version 7 17.6 but yeah i made a little mistake and i got lila 18 and even though it works good and even though you know all text is visible and we're on the latest uh, uh how you say that um Cody this Cody is not working too good because of the Python that I must still update I have a problem with that I forgot about it effect um yeah in the higher builds of 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 
Linux Mint and even Ubuntu. We don't get to deal with this problem anymore. And I remember in the past uh, when I was using uh, or creating distros based on uh, 17 and 18 that I would get this problem. Okay, so it's just a matter of installing it and then fixing the Python. Uh, but you can also wait for my other distribution that will come very soon. And that one will have 17.6 built in. And then you won't have this problem. Okay, so um, what are we looking at? Um, we're looking at the desktop at this moment. And yeah, I'm booting Cody just again, just to see what is cracker lacking. You see, this is the problem and I need to fix it. But for the rest, yeah, I've, I've been watching uh, live TV uh, yesterday. So some stations, they do play even though uh, the Python uh, is, 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 is outdated. It must be updated. So yeah, don't worry too much about the Kodi. Uh, your, your local files will play fine. So if you have videos uh, on the computer, you know, those will play just fine. All right. Uh, but yeah, we're having some little difficulties here with uh with this with this with this version um at this moment so don't worry too much about it all right even sky news is giving me a little error there and that sound is really annoying so <laughs> yeah i think we can better take a look at some other stuff that i also have for you on here um yeah i also inserted a video editor here you're gonna see a, a great video editor that is built in i think every operating system should come with a built-in video editor unfortunately it's not that uh, case anymore before windows would always have their little windows movie maker built in you know and linux never had no good video editors at that time but now i think yeah that time is over linux mint has it or i mean not linux mint gnu linux has it all these days you see this has nothing to do with linux mint this has to do with 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 development that is going on in linux because this will also work on on ubuntu and on lubuntu and xubuntu and and name it kind of ubuntu you see so that that is not the case so we have a video editor we have an audio editor as well built in You see that? And we even have Android built in. And because I have no virtualization in this machine, I cannot just run Android from out this desktop. But here you can see that we can easily create recordings. And by go by going to the sound settings here, because I always turn that off. So, you know, the computer don't listen to you whenever you... Here yeah, you see the input, input, unsampled one two one two one two you see that test 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 yo times are hard people are chilling you can't get a job but you know you're willing so yeah as you can see you can record with this thing and you can delete all this crap and just quit the application and you're done or you save it and you make a number one hit i don't want to save this why do we always say yes no so that's it what more stream tuner will let you listen to all stations in the world and you will be able to as well record that music whatever you're listening to so that is as well very nice of stream tuner so that why that's why it's also in the system because in fact the guys of rhythm box yeah what can i say they they are not so um how you say that they don't love their application so much okay because yeah here we see that the plugins are not even available nothing um in radio for years we said we still have the same stations that while you know 
many other stations would love to be in this in this section so whenever you know we install rhythm box we don't only have two four six eight twelve channels you know but then you know we have like a full page with all sorts of sections reggae uh, 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 trance house because we only see trance and house here these guys they, they only love house the at, 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 at rhythm box and good house eh? Not crap. So I'm listening a whole lot as well to this, but I think that, you know, I I then made a list. I made a list that you could easily add into the system and then you would have a bunch of stations, a couple of hundred, I think. And uh, I think that Rhythmbox should do that themselves. So this thing standard comes with a whole lot of stations that love to be, you know, uh, in in rhythm box. Just 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 make some poll and 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 you know who would like to be represented in rhythm box. Uh, you know you're gonna see many people will 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 um, apply because yeah, is it not nice if we would have a radio station that was really and for the Linux community, you know. Yeah, maybe I should start a thing like that and put it in my own distros. Then I don't have to wait until somebody wakes up there at Rhythm Box and start, you know, doing something for the community. Instead of leaving it all to the community. Because, you know, I create these kinds of systems because I think that users should have an all-in-one package from the start, out of the box. And they should not go and 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 yeah do all sorts of crazy things go into terminal screens and and learn about sudo app get install and 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 auto remove and all these things i mean you you will learn in time in time you're gonna learn that not the app store and not the internet but the terminal is the very easiest way to install or uninstall anything in linux and when you when you know when you understand that then in fact you're you're ready to 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 use linux okay well to really love linux because until that moment on, uh, until the mo yeah how can i say um if you still hate the terminal screen in linux yeah if you think the terminal screen is something that you don't want to know anything about then you're not ready really to become a real linux user but the moment you start loving the screen this little black screen here the moment you understand the power that you have with this screen then you're gonna love linux and you won't ever give your love to any other operating system than only linux okay that's just how it is i can tell you i'm addicted to linux we have here a system back installed uh, so you can easily install the system uh, you will just pop in hey my keyboard is not working anymore I don't know what happened to my keyboard oh boy I don't hope it's a hardware problem I don't hope that it's a hardware problem guys or maybe Oh, the numlock was on. Here you can go ahead and uh, install the system. Oh, my mouse is not working because you just removed it out of the USB. So, now it's working again. Here you can hit system install, put in your name, user account, uh, password, I mean user account password. Uh, so let me make that one two three four one two three four and then one two three four and then host name anything a and then next and then the the, the, the whole thing is that you will have to create uh, that's why we also have gparted installed you will have to create a, a x4 partition and a, and a swap partition uh, from your hard drive or in your hard drive i'm not going to do any of that uh, i already have it installed and then you're going to simply uh, 
put the mount points you're going to select transfer user configuration and data files and then you're going to hit next and then the system will be installed and within 10 minutes uh, you will have exactly the same look and feels that you see here in front of you on your computer so these are my uh, my distros that i create uh, from existing fantastic great beautiful operating systems such as linux mint and of course ubuntu um, yeah linux mint is still a clone of course uh, of ubuntu and yeah most of the times i love to build on ubuntu itself because yeah those that uh, think that ubuntu is yeah annoying with the port and the errors that it's getting these things i all fix in my distros and as you can see we, we are not getting these errors at all okay even though this is linux mint these errors would also appear sometimes in linux mint although linux mint i think remove the port as well so whenever you get these errors you don't see them okay they are happening but they are not happening visible yeah that is it uh, i think i this is a way too long video already i'm not gonna make this video any longer um so if you want to install linux on these machines remember you need a good uh super drive so you can pop in a dvd and then just boot with the key uh, c pressed as well and then it will start the install it will take about an hour on this machine you will probably fall asleep during the install just like me but uh after that you know you're gonna have a fantastic system and i created some distros for you already i have uh two distros done one with android 8 built in and one with lineage os 14.1 built in and that's what i'm gonna show you right now so after you did the enabling in the system folder of your home folder uh, up there you're gonna see a little folder called system in there you're gonna find the rpm depending on the version that you downloaded if that was uh, uh, with android 8 or with 7.12 this is the version with 7.12 because i think that uh, 7.12 runs better on the macbook uh, yeah the macbook 2.2 and even the 2.1 so that's what I'm going to show you now. We're going to boot the system into uh, into Lineage OS, into Android now. And we can even boot into Mac. So we did not lose anything that was on the Mac. We installed Linux. And we even now as well have in that Linux Android. So it's, you can say Android is in the belly of, of, of Linux, built in and you can run it from out the desktop with kiemu if you have virtualization uh, available in your machine that means you need you have a good strong machine and if not just uh, it will make a dual boot for you so you can simply boot up uh, yeah the android still and run it natively run it one on one So it will run as a standalone operating system on this MacBook. Look at that, Linux OS booting up. So this is in fact uh, Lin MacDroid. Eh? I'm going to call this Lin MacDroid. Because we also have Android built in. As you can see, Linux OS 14.1. And we have a distro with Android 8 built in and this what you're gonna see now is all with thanks to china to mr w c w one and he even uh left me a little message in one of my videos and he explained about the virtualization that it must be available uh, but if you don't have that on board then you can still run uh, android as you can see a perfect version of android here installed as well in the system and it comes all with the distro if you want to know how to install how to activate uh, how to activate it uh, make sure to watch my video how to install lindroid os onto a pc we have a security patch level from 2018 april so you shouldn't worry about uh, this too much there is just not uh, there is no more development going on for 7.12 so yeah sure we do have some x86 uh, um android versions out there but none of them come with uh 
with RPMs because uh, in fact this is a RPM that we you know that we use to to get this going under Linux so yeah I'm not sure how to create the RPM from uh, ISO I'm not sure if it's possible but I think that all x86 developers out there should not uh, only uh, concentrate on 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 Android anymore they must concentrate on how to get Android uh, built in into a daily operating system so that people can you know uh, that they don't have to you know yeah, use two devices that they can use just one device uh, the best is of course if you have virtualization built in then you can run this straight from out your Linux desktop in this case that is not possible so yeah but to me it's just fine because you know you can be on here everything works good you can listen to music you can go into the play store you have a recorder you can make uh, screen recordings you can watch YouTube you know just open YouTube and it says no connection and that's right i have no connection at this point i think not even sure let me see let's see if we have a connection i'm not sure maybe i turned off the internet let me see wi-fi is disconnected oh here we can connect to wi-fi you see that so that is also working I'm not going to do it guys, I'm not going to connect to anything. I just want to show you that this is again, uh, even though this is Linux Mint 18, uh, with uh, LTS long term support up to 2021, I think this is the most beautiful uh, yeah, Linux distribution out there at this moment for old MacBooks that don't get no support from Apple anymore, you know, and for people that have a old device like this with 10.7 running on top of it uh, and and they want to as well you know use the system in a 2019 way still you know with the latest uh, with the latest browser with with security patches etc then this is what you should do with your uh, macbook pro 2.2 even though the thing costed me only 20 euros uh, at this point it just raised in value and i give it a value of uh, 250 bucks now just for what it is you know including the 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 build that it comes with the special uh, catalina classic build for this device you know so uh, yeah so mac users don't feel left out under linux okay so they don't have the idea that they are yeah on a system that they don't understand you see we still have the same things here finder file only this looks a little bit different but the look and feels you know they are kind of the same and this dock i can easily make a 2d dock from it uh, instead of this 3d dock with one little kill dock action in the terminal not gonna do that uh, this this part of, of of the mac i will use strictly and only uh, for the creation of music for my yeah for my youtube videos uh, garage band music samples that i use from apple uh, from that that come out of a time from uh, yeah steve jobs and that is all thanks to him that we you know had these things like you know samples to create our own music this guy would go to musicians he was a hippie himself and he had lots of yeah friends that had bands and music etc and he would pay them to create music for yeah the users of 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 apple devices these days things are changed we now get music from apple that is copyright protected you use them in your productions and you will have to pay to some artist you know and they will claim your video Nothing like that uh, in the good times of Apple. So yeah, I'm kind of keeping to the good times of Apple and I'm still using the old applications that I all still have from Apple. So yeah, that is really cool, don't you think? So yeah, guys, this was my video. Um, it was a long one and uh, yeah, it, it probably the distribution is not fully perfect yet, but it will get, trust me, it will get uh, even better and uh, for now i can say that we have two distributions that you can now 
install on your machine depending on what kind of Mac you have. If you have the 3.1 or maybe the 3. the 4.1, I don't know. Uh, you can all install this now. I will deliver this uh, as, a, as, as an ISO file, as an ISO file, and you will then uh, be able to go ahead and yeah, burn a bootable USB stick or maybe even a bootable DVD. Okay, that was it. Now it's time for me to go ahead and uh, work even more on the system. I'm gonna upload uh, the distro for you. Uh, it might uh, take a little before the distro will be online. It's about three gigabytes. So make sure that when this video comes online and uh, the distro is not available yet to first leave some likes for this video. I think at 15 likes or so I will, you know, share this distro and then, you know, it's not much, yeah? 15 likes. So go ahead, give this video a thumbs up if you only if you liked what you saw. If you did not like what you saw, you must leave a dislike, okay? But if you like what you saw, leave this video a thumbs up. And at 15 likes, uh, I will I will share this video. And uh, if it gets too many dislikes, then, then I will just keep the distribution to myself. And I will enjoy it all alone by myself and share it only for people that I know in my neighborhood that do appreciate this, yeah, this this beautiful, hey, what am I doing here? Oh, oh, that is nice. You see what I just discovered? Look, this is a phone holder, you see that? But by putting it like this into the little glove there, like this, you have a stand. The thing stands nicely so this is a cheap way how to as well give these things some air and this little fan costs at uh, three euros and you can just use it to blow uh, some air onto the device so it doesn't get too hot and the keyboard as well does not get too hot whenever you're you know typing or using the mouse so that is also kind of handy think about the fact that these devices get very hot once in a while it's uh, it's necessary to open them and to see if there's any dust etc in the fence so yeah clean these out uh, whenever you get a chance to open it i did i cleaned it completely out i should put some cooling paste on 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 the processor as well but yeah this I will let my friend uh, Lando do for me because soon I will go to Lando and then we're going to update that machine there. I'm going to get a better motherboard from him. He promised that a long time ago after he sold me uh, a two terabyte drive that would not be, you know, recognized by that bias that is in that old AMD quad core machine that I have for a very long time already, but it's still doing very good. Not that I'm going to throw away that motherboard, I'm going to make a great Linux system of it and then give it to somebody, you know, that can use it and enjoy it again. So peeps, this was my video. So I'm going to see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe and until then again.